Now I really like it when people send me through photographs uh, and ask for help. This particular person is not in my area and uh, is asking me if I can help them with the, the leak of this roof here. Um, and this picture tells me lots of things. So first of all, obviously nice skylight. At least this is a proper skylight. I, I see so many skylights which are not proper skylights these days. I've got a video coming out about that. But I can see that it's an EPDM roof. All looks quite new. You can see it's a rear extension. I can see that it's also got this uh, 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 hip running across here so th this will be a, a, a like a false front so if you're in the garden looking back there's probably several layers of uh, tiles there to make it look nice now I've been told that this is a warm roof and it's quite interesting because one of the things I always do is I take a measurement from this point down here up all the way to the glass from the inside and then what I do is I take a measurement from the outside from here downwards to the roof and I take that measurement away from this measurement which is inside and that tells you the 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 height and build up of the roof which is really really important because if this is a warm roof we can approximate what the build up is the, the timbers going across here are either going to be 200 high or 150 high depending on the span normally they're going to be 200 now I would suggest 200 because it's taking all the weight of the um, uh, this ridge area here and all the tiles etc so there's a lot of weight bearing on that and also you've got uh, the, the, the skylight etc so you'll have double trimmers down here and double trimmers down here so we've got 200 probably 200 timbers timbers now depending on when this was done you might have 120 to 150 millimeters of insulation plus on top fur ends plus on top OSB at the bottom You've, you're going to have plasterboard. So if we think about that, 200 for your timbers, 150, that's 350, plus the, a, bit, a bit of furring, another 25, plus the top, so you're about 400. So you, you're 420 mil is what you would expect. If you haven't got 420 mil or thereabouts on there, one would start to question whether or not this is a warm roof builder. So you can see the kind of information you can get from a picture. Now, here's another thing. I also know that building this is highly complicated because where do you stop the warm roof as it runs underneath this area theoretically this area over here all of this will be what we call a cold roof construction so theoretically on the other side which I haven't got a picture of there should be venting running across the top and there'll be venting down on the soffit boards so that the air can circulate in this area and remember inside underneath this is is a livable dwelling so the thermal insulation of this would be down at ceiling level the thermal insulation here will be a lot higher how the two join together is really complicated to do correctly um, I, in fact I don't think I've ever seen it done correctly and what we normally see happens is that the cold air if they've put the venting in correctly circulates underneath this particular um, warm roof and therefore the warm roof doesn't work let's just have a look at some of the other photographs that uh, were sent through there wasn't a lot of photographs sent through so here's your EPDM roof that's the outlet by the looks of it going through there and I can tell that straight away when we look at this um, whoever did the EPDM knows what they're doing I can see some great joints this is a, a very very good detail that they've used here for for an outlet yes there's a little bit of standing water on it but nothing major um, that might be some um, air bubbles coming up from down below because could have trapped air uh, which is in there and let's see if we can go to the next picture now we look inside so the reason they contacted me is because they have got a leak and we can see there's been a lot of water coming through so it's really important now to to analyze this it'd be really interesting as i said to know what that measurement is from there to there to make sure that we think this is a warm roof if it's not a warm roof look you've got all these uh, spotlights which are in 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 the roof which would mean that you've got movement of air into or under um, the roof covering there and if it's if it's a cold roof this is all going to be bridging the thermal insulation um, and causing problems but there's more problems here because even if it is a uh, a proper warm roof the amount of water which has come through there should be a vapor barrier underneath your warm roof that vapor barrier which is underneath that warm roof it doesn't doesn't let water through as well as vapor through with the amount of water come which has come through which I'm, I'm seeing here you've now got insulation that is sitting in a puddle of water and it's got no real way of 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 getting out and it can't dry there's very little movement of air up there and we know that 
uh, wet insulation doesn't perform very well so you've now lost all the performance of having an insulated warm roof because all the insulation is if you don't change it is going to be wet so there's a, you know he's got this customer's got big problems uh, depending on what goes on so realistically now the, the idea is to find out a why it's leaking b what the construction is and if the construction has done has been done well but i've been down this so many times in the past because theoretically a lot of money has been spent on doing this um, and all of this is really bad news and a lot of people will just just fix the roof and leave it as it is I don't blame them for doing it. It's bad news knowing that possibly the front roof over here hasn't been done properly, you know, and, and it's letting air into this. And also this area is going to be wet up there. But to put all this right, you've literally got to rebuild the whole roof from the outside and spend, well, I don't know the full length of it and the width of it, but I'm telling you, this is 20, 30,000 pounds worth of work to, uh, to be able to put it right. Anyhow, hopefully um, you can see how easy, well, not easy, it is how I can analyze things if you send me photographs I'm always I really don't mind the uh, people sending me photographs and I'll analyze what's going on as best I can for you sometimes like at the moment because we've got so much rain outside it does take me a few days to get back to you hopefully this helps speak soon